What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and today I'm going to be playing, I was about to say this new game called All Star Tower Defense, but I don't even think it's a new game. This game's been out for a while and it's been pretty popular for a while, but it just recently blew up big time and it's number one on popular page for some reason. If you don't know what game I'm talking about, All Star Tower Defense, as you can see it's been out for like seven or eight months almost and it has almost 600 million visits. That's like more than half of the amount of visits B Swarm and BGS have. So this game has actually been pretty popular for a while and currently it has 58k players. This game has been number one on the popular page for like a few days now. So the other day I decided to try it out. I ended up buying VIP and in this game you can go over to, where is it? The free gem slash coins thing. And if you have VIP, you can just sit in this thing overnight and it'll give you like 10 gems and like 15 coins every 10 minutes or something. It's like every 500 seconds so whenever you afk it all night i wake up to like seven or eight hundred gems and like a thousand coins which actually isn't even that much because just to summon 10 things you need 450 gems i've been having a lot of fun playing this game i really like tower defense games and this one is really different the best units in the game are the six star units if you get multiple five star units and like combine and evolve them you can get six star units you can also level up units just by feeding other other units to them which is pretty cool so for whatever reason I have this level one equipped whenever I have the same exact guy level four so I'm actually going to feed my level eight a couple of these XP guys and just rank them up and then I'll feed them a bunch of these weaker guys as well please give me some tips down in the comment section for this game because I don't know exactly how the game works I've kind of just been feeding all my really weak guys to my stronger ones and I don't even have anything that's that good yet there's also like tier lists in this game kind of like how some trading games have value list, which is what I think is really cool about this game. It's not just the most rare stuff in the game that's the best. There's actually like an S tier, an A tier, a B tier that's pretty much community decided, like what are the best things in the game. I'm actually not really community decided. You can kind of just look at the stats and some things are just really OP. So if you guys, oh, I fell off the map. If you guys want to see me continue to play this game, make sure you hit the like button. Also, the BGS update came out yesterday and so many people were messaging me like, where's my video on the BGS update? I don't know. I, just, I haven't really played BGS in like a month or so. If you guys really want me to keep making videos on the game, I will. It's just like it never updates. Like it finally updated after a month and everyone's like, where's the video? But <laughs> I, I don't know. The game's kind of dying a little bit. I think Science Simulator is kind of the new trading game. It's blowing up. It's been on the top of all the up and coming pages the most engaging pages it's been rising on the popular pages and it's maintained like 4,000 players all week even right after the bgs update whenever bgs was barely maintaining 10k for science m just starting off and not being as huge as rumble is like those numbers are pretty similar i'm just saying science sim is kind of on the come up and all the crazy stuff hasn't even been released yet oh yeah speaking of science sim, the update is tomorrow it's supposed to be today but it got pushed back because this is the biggest update yet they actually decided to put mutations in this update, update seven, instead of update eight. So I don't care about waiting one extra day. We're getting mutations early. That's all I care about. So I'm actually on the sixth level of the story mode. There are, dang, there's a lot of worlds in the story mode. I, it looks like you can go all the way down to Skull Island. I'm only on beginner saga and I am on level six. So I have to take out the true supreme power guy. Let's see if I can even do this. I actually attempted to complete level six by myself. I've been doing the story mode with my friend and it's a lot easier with a friend even if you're both bad at the game but I was doing it with a friend and it's a lot harder playing solo so let's actually see if we can even survive through this if we can't then <laughs> if we can't even survive through this I'm not gonna end the video just yet I'm gonna go find a good player to help carry me through an infinite mode just to show off some good gameplay I don't want to die that early this game actually has um, pretty decent audio I actually like listening to the audio in this game because it's actual like gameplay sort of still not exactly exactly because it is a tower defense game you kind of just watch it happen but i still like playing this game with audio just a little bit of audio so i think this is my best unit so far he kind of just throws knives he's not the best there's some units that i really want to show off that some of my friends have and some of the really high level people that i like i've played against, i've played with and i've seen on youtube there's this one five star guy that has 120 range like this guy has 18 range and look at this range there's a five star guy that has 120 range that you can put up on ledges and he has 
like a cowboy hat on and a sword and he shoots like a green beam if anybody watching this video knows what i'm talking about it's a five star unit like it's not even a six star and it's like super overpowered you just like put him up on the ledge and he costs like four thousand to even put him down he's super hard to get but he's really good all right let's put some money guys over here start racking up a little bit of money this will give me fifty dollars per wave i don't even know if there's like better money corp units there probably is this is probably a really trash one so they cost 300 to put down and 275 to upgrade so should i how much does it give me per wave if i upgrade it 100 okay so it's actually better to upgrade it than to put another one down so i'm gonna get this other one upgraded as well oh dang powerful units are coming these have to be hit with upgraded units um i can't do damage to powerful units yet we got this guy upgraded he should be able to take out the powerful units let's just skip the wave yeah okay everything's under control let's upgrade this guy again so we're getting 200 dollars extra per wave that should help a little bit these guys the money guys are definitely a lot better for infinite mode that's for sure i really want to keep grinding this game and make another video on it in like a couple days or a week whenever i'm really good if i even can get really good this game is actually pretty hard to get good at unless i just haven't been playing for that long but i've already afk'd for like a couple nights and i've opened up a couple thousand gems and a couple thousand coins worth of the units and i haven't gotten a single two percent unit the two the five star unit i don't have any five star units dang there's already a mini boss all right we're gonna get our nine nine upgraded to tier two whenever i get this unit upgraded to tier two she throws a bunch of bombs yeah there she's starting to throw a bunch of bombs now which is actually pretty overpowered um i don't think there's any air units so i actually don't need to place this guy down there are air units in this game in the infinite mode though so you gotta have like a variety of different defenses this game's actually quite a bit of fun i want to show off some infinite mode gameplay but i really want to get good units first because i can't even get past like wave 30 by myself i got to wave 45 with a friend that was carrying and pretty much doing 99 percent of the damage so i'm definitely not good enough to do infinite mode without a carry and i don't really want to just get carried i really want to contribute otherwise there's barely even a point to doing imp infinite mode if you're not contributing you're just getting carried you're only going to get carried to like round 45 or 50 max there's no way to get on the infinite leaderboard if you're getting carried so i need to get good at the game and i want to actually try to compete for the infinite leaderboard because it is a pretty fun game but i need to get six star units i don't even have a single five star yet all right so i got all of my units upgraded to the second tier these guys only have three tiers of upgrades but a lot of the way better ones will have like five or six some of them even have like seven or eight upgrades i think i saw some pro using some unit that had like seven upgrades and most of the really good units have like at least five so that's how you can kind of tell my units aren't the best they only have like three upgrades all right i'm gonna put down a couple more of these units and double upgrade them so they throw bombs these are actually really overpowered i think they do 47 damage every three seconds these guys do 32 damage every two seconds so i don't know if the bombs are splash damage though like it's kind of hard to tell in this game if stuff is splash damage or not i'm trying to think back to like balloons tower defense if any of you guys have ever played balloons tower defense i think of these 99 characters like the bomber i just don't know if these bombs are actually doing splash damage or if they're just hitting whoever's in the first spot because if they're doing splash damage that's actually really really good whenever there's a whole bunch of enemies grouping up so there's a mini boss already coming but i don't think that's too big of a deal it looks like we have it under control let's just get down some more 99s because it looks pretty overpowered throwing all these bombs in yeah they can't even get out of the spawn it doesn't look like i'm in trouble at all all right i'm gonna get the third upgrade on this money guy just to see what it does it's probably not going to be super profitable yeah 275 per wave it's going to be a little bit profitable and like three waves but if i upgrade it again it's not going to be profitable i'll i'll upgrade this guy more in a later video whenever i'm playing infinite mode or something but i don't think it's that good for story mode when there's only a couple waves left let's upgrade our 99 to the final tier 99 on the final tier keeps throwing bombs but it also drops down a huge spike thing from up top so i think 99 is actually probably the best unit i have right now unless this guy is better this zeo burundo guy whenever he's fully upgraded he has a laser beam that he shoots every two seconds 51 damage that's actually a little bit better that's technically more dps than the 99 fully upgraded actually we're in a little bit of trouble okay we're gonna put some more stuff down over here let's put down two more of these there's another mini boss and it's only wave 12 all right we're actually in a little bit of trouble let's put down even more of these let's put down a super koku this guy has a lot of range i pretty much just use this guy for the air attack because all my guys down here can't hit air enemies but he's also really good just for his range he's only upgraded twice and his range is already this big fully upgraded he can hit like almost the entire map and he only has like 60 range fully upgraded remember how i was talking about the 
the five star unit that sits on the ledge and has 120 range that one's like one of the most overpowered in the game i really want to get that unit all right let's upgrade some of these zeos so that they can help out a little bit more it looks like we're kind of in trouble actually we're in a lot of trouble are we actually not going to survive this okay hold on let's put down some more guys dude i literally can't beat this mission by myself this is the second time that i've done the sixth mission this is only the last mission of the first like world or whatever this shouldn't even be that hard yet all right can my super koku take him out all right took that guy out i need to place down more units and upgrade them i'm in a little bit of trouble all right um i'm kind of trying my best but it looks like we got overrun is there anything else that we can do i need to put some guys over here let's try our best put a couple more guys down let's see if we can take them it's we're not gonna take them out what the heck dang look at this mini boss yeah oh dang we we are not strong enough ouch all right well that's one way to end my first all-star tower defense video i couldn't even complete a story mode there's also like i was saying the infinite mode and there's an infinite mode leaderboard the highest level on the leaderboard is 59 nobody can get to wave 60 for whatever reason i don't even know the strat i don't even have good enough units to do the strat so i kind of want to look at this trial mode there's also a trial mode that's like a harder story mode but i can't even go into the first trial until i'm level 25 and i think that's the first trial over there so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i've been having quite a bit of fun playing this game i'm just not really that good yet so maybe i will be better later on in a future video and i can actually here let's just do a summon real quick because i have a little bit of gems and i just got a three star i don't even know is this a good three star i don't even know how do i even know if any of these are good or not i can't even find a lot of the different units on the tier list there's probably so many that aren't even on the tier list just because they're two stars or three stars they're so bad all my units are probably like f tier except for a couple of them i know that a couple of these four stars are a little bit decent just not that decent so yeah like i was saying that's pretty much it for this video i'm gonna try to get more op and i'll make more videos on this game in the future if you guys want me to make sure you comment some more ideas for future videos down below subscribe if you have not already hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out